kingmaker or queen maker, Winston Peters, returned to Parliament today with the media in his sights. The New Zealand First Leader hit out at the Fourth Estate, criticising journalists for what he described as tripe and dribble and called for some understanding in the wake of the election. Mr Peters held a media conference in Parliament but declared it would be his last until after October the 7th, the date the uh, special votes will be announced. He targeted one story in particular which said the politician was up to his old tricks of keeping everyone guessing. The reality is you could point to the Electoral Commission and others and ask yourself why it is that 384,000 people will not have their vote counted until the 7th of October. And maybe then, with a bit of presence of mind, you could say to yourselves, that may be the reason why New Zealand First has to withhold its view, because we don't know yet what the exact, precise voice of the New Zealand people is. And certainly most not would be the case if you have 384,000, that's 15% of the vote, yet to be counted. That will change things, in my view. That's been our experience in the past, in the past and we want to have regard to that. Now, as for today's meeting, we met as a caucus to run through every possible permutation or option that we had. Uh, we first of all foreswore as a uh, group of MPs to ensure that we didn't put our own personal views from the leader to the most uh, newest member of caucus above the interests of the party and above the interests of the country. That's what I said on election night, and that's what we're going to do. I want to tell you that we're not going to be persuaded or dissuaded by any of the speculative drivel that's been written by some of you around this country, and you should be, frankly, ashamed of yourselves. Winston Peters speaking uh, at Parliament today. Our political reporter, May Heron, has been covering all of this and joins us now live from Parliament. Hi, May. Um, a pretty scathing attack on the media there from Winston Peters, although in one form or another, nothing he hasn't said before, really. Yeah, exactly, John. We're pretty used to having these sort of robust exchanges with Winston Peters. Um, I think in one shape or form, most of us journalists have had a conversation like that. And he's kind of carried this throughout his campaign. He said several times that uh, the news media have failed to follow him, failed to cover him, failed to give him very much attention during the election campaign, which for RNZ um, isn't true. We've had one of our RNZ reporters with him the entire time. But, you know, through these little insults today at this news conference, Conference, we did learn some things about what Mr Peters was thinking. He says that he will not be making any, uh, I guess, uh, concrete decisions or concrete negotiations until after these special votes have been counted, and that's October the 7th. So that's not this weekend, but the weekend after. Yes. And so, um, he says this is really important because he wants to know what the entire nation is thinking. There is quite a few of those votes to be counted up. Um, he says that he may talk to Bill English and Jacinda Ardern before then, but he says that he kind of knows where they're sitting anyway, and especially in terms of their policies. He says he's been watching the uh, campaign so far, and so he knows where those parties sit. Um, Mr Peters also reiterated that his party would decide which way they would go um, by October the 12th, um, and it's its membership will also be consulted over the next couple of days. Uh, Mr Peters says that there are nine different options his party could take. Um, he wouldn't reveal what those nine were, though, but uh, he says the caucus will be walking through each and every one of those nine different uh, possible options. You mentioned caucus, mate. This uh, media conference was held after the first New Zealand uh, first caucus meeting, right? Yes, so the whole caucus came and met today. Um, at the airport earlier today, um, most of the media bumped into Shane Jones, who had a, who is obviously one of the MPs, and he arrived carrying two polystyrene boxes of crayfish, one under each arm, actually. One had female crayfish, the other one had male crayfish, and he joked to the media uh, about which one uh, Winston Peters might pick obviously alluding a little bit to the national and Labour leaders there. Um, but on a serious note, he said, you know, that today's meeting, the caucus meeting, was about getting all together, meeting some new faces, him obviously being one of them. Uh, one of the other MPs, Tracy Martin, uh, she said at the airport today that no single party um, has a so-called moral mandate mm, to form mm. a government. Uh, she says that this is MMP and this is how it works. Yeah, and Winston Peters was making the same point, right, at his media conference. What's happening with other political parties, May? What, what are they up to? 
Well, it's kind of in a little bit of a waiting zone at the moment. Um, Labor's leader Jacinda Ardern was out and about today. She visited a school for teenage parents near Wellington. Uh, she says that her team is currently going through their policies to see where the areas of common are with New Zealand First and the Green Party. But she's not creating any expectations around that either. Uh, the Greens today also uh, held some initial talks with their negotiating team. They too are preparing for some discussions. Um, and the National Party, they're also in a holding pattern. And in fact, all of us are kind of in this holding pattern, <laughs> yes. waiting to see what's going to happen, waiting to see what um, Winston Peters will do. But we do now know, I guess, that date, that important date, October the 12th, that's when he says he's going to make his decision by. May Heron, in a holding pattern and not talking tripe or drivel, joining us live from Parliament. Thanks very much indeed, mate.